To say the season didn't start off exactly as planned would be an understatement. I suffered a bicep injury in that first game and that kept me out for about 10 games, but that wasn't really the problem. The problem was that when I came back, I wasn't hitting for shit and then when I wasn't beating myself at the plate, the game was taking stuff away from me. Look at this. This should have been a foul ball off the right field wall here, but he goes up for it. The ball's coming straight down and then it warps into his glove. I thought we left that shit in all-star baseball, but either way, after that bat, I had an 0 for 12 hanging over my head. But then the next game, lucky number 13, I take a curveball inside and bash it down the left field line for a double. That took a huge weight off my back. That 0 for 12 turned into a 1 for 13. And we were well on the way to getting back on the road to the show. We are back in Chattanooga and still on the road to the show. You know what? My bicep is feeling pretty good. I think that injury is fully healed. And what's also feeling good is my mentality at the plate because after going 0 for 12, that one double down the left field line really, really, really put me on the right track because I've actually raised my average up to 273. I had a three-hit game in the game right before this. So I hope to continue on the hot streak and see if we can get over 300 for the season. And then maybe we have a promotion in our future. But first, we have to worry about the game that's at hand right now. Let's see if we can do some damage. All right, so I'm headed to the plate for my first at-bat. And we are actually up 2-0 still in the top of the first, which is a change. Usually we're already down like 5-0 or some shit like that. But as you can see, I got my average up from 0 to a somewhat respectable 273 in the last couple games. In the last game, I went 3 for 4. The game before that, I went 3 for 5. And in the game before that, I went 1 for 3, I believe, with a walk. So I was hitless in my first 12 at-bats of the season. But lucky number 13, I got that one little cheap seeing I double down the left field line. And it's kind of turned things around for me. Because uh, I think the one thing I love about MLB The Show the most is that when you play Road to the Show, a lot of times, if you're playing on, like, all-star difficulty or hall of fame the way your career and season goes is kind of like it goes in real life you go through slumps you go through hot streaks you have you know weeks where you're just going on a tear and you have weeks where you can't hit shit and everything you hit goes right at somebody and if you've been following the series for a couple of years that i've been doing you see that that happens often to me i'll be hitting like 330 one month and then that average will drop down to 205 the next month and it is a slump always hits me at some point i'm just glad it seems like i got one out of the way early so we're we had a 2-1 count here. I'm still waiting for my pitch as a man on second. I want to drive him home, but I don't want to swing at anything that's bad like that. And he's not really giving me much over the plate, but it's 3-1 now. So he's going to hopefully he throws me a he throws me a dinger ball right here and I could turn on it. Nope, that's a walk right there. I'm working a lot more walks though. One thing I was actually surprised at is even though I wasn't hitting well, I was seeing the ball well and I actually worked four walks during that slump. This is my fifth walk this season and Usually, I don't have five walks in my whole damn career in road to the show. So, this is actually off to a good start. My patience is there this year. I just need to get the bat to come around with it. 3-1 count. Hopefully, he gives him something. We could expand his lead a little bit to at least three or four nothing. Going to be looking for something here. I'm going to run if he hits it high. Oh, where's that at? Where's that at? That's in the gap. That's in the gap. I'm going to try to score for first. I'm going to try to score for first. I'm going to show the wheels. I'm going to show the wheels. Turn it on, Big Red. Turn it on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's not even going to throw it. Look at the speed right there. Look at the speed right there. I'm dragging my big ass around those bases like a freight train. All right, bottom of the second, two outs, man, on first. We're up five to nothing. So we, we have a good start going on right now at the plate. Hopefully I can build upon that walk and actually get a hit here if this guy doesn't get picked off. Oh, there's no there's no reason to be teasing a steal with two outs left. I mean, I, I guess they know I'm a beast so that if he does get caught, I come up to lead off the next inning, and that's good. But still, let me get in that bag here. I like working it. I, ooh. Umpire seems to be calling low strikes today. He isn't calling anything in the upper half of the plate that's on the corner up there. I'm going to try to use that to my advantage. Ah! That was a, was that, a slider? Yeah, that was a slider that hung a little bit. I was a little bit late on it. If I would have swung a little bit earlier, that's going into the right field bleachers. That's going inside. Oh, he boated it. An absolute boat job. All right, so that's a way to get on base. I guess I headed hard enough that it smacked him in his chest. I'll take it, shit. Let's see what Mark Jarrett got for me right here. I want, I want to show off some gloves, guy. I want to do like a diving stop or something. Just to show, just to show I can do something here at first base. I'm not going to get it dead, though. That's a, just a routine ground ball to second. Easy play. All right, time for my third at bat. Where actually, we, we, they actually gave me a hit. On that last at bat. I'm not sure. I mean, that ball gobbled him up. 
like a hungry, hungry hippo. I'm not sure if that should be a hit, but I'll take it because that brings my average up over 300 finally. And so we're in the bottom of the fourth. We're up seven to nothing now. So I guess technically I'm one for one with a walk. Let's see if we can get two for two right here. Let's see if I can get something a little bit better than. <laughs> Let's see if I can get past first base on my own instead of having to wait for someone else to drive me over there. Ah, that's not a, that's not a good pitch to swing at right there. I don't know why that tempted me. That was a nice slider. Actually, might have been called a strike anyway. I'm not sure, but I need to wait for a pitch that's more in the middle of the plate. That's not the one I was looking for, but that's still a thing. That's a pop up. Nah, that ain't shit. That's a pop up. That's all right. At least I haven't. I've been having trouble turning on the inside pitches. At least I turned on that one a little bit. I hit it the right way. Show him the glove. Show him the glove. Get over there, pitcher. Yes. I told you I wanted to make a diving stop finally. Uh, you know what? The second base would probably... No, don't... Oh, my God. I've been doing those Pilates since the last injury. You telling me I'm not stretched out yet? I make a beautiful diving stop and I hurt myself. I'm just going to let that shit go into the freaking right field next time. How about that? Got bitten ass. They said my hip was hurting. I'm my arm. I haven't been jerking off to me. What the hell is this? Shit. Well, that's not good. So the road to the show isn't actually taking a full-on stop, we just took a one-day detour. I guess the hip injury wasn't that big of a deal because I only missed one game. So I'm playing in this next game, the road to the show is continuing, and actually my goal this year is to make it into AAA before the season's done. MLB is a possibility, but AAA is where I want to be before the season's done. We're going to work towards that. So I'll see you guys on the next one.